Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do an update video, a rather important one. Someone brought to my attention something that slipped past me uh, involving this um, ice wall situation here in Japan related to Fukushima. Well, apparently only a few days after the Japan NRA blocked going forward with this rather expensive ice wall project, they turn around and come out and say, oh yes, now we're going to approve it, do it. Apparently, the NRA and TEPCO came to an agreement regarding the ice wall project to start it in stages. A partial ice wall at first. Now, I guess the reason here at TEPCO probably used was, okay, if you don't believe that we can stop the groundwater from dropping too low to allow the already contaminated water to get into the soil, well, we'll start it in stages, you see. And you will see the contamination uh, goes down, and our, our groundwater flow into the plant goes down. So we can open more of it and you can see this will work. This is rather odd for a go any government agency to do a complete about face so quickly. Now in my experience following Japanese politics, there's usually two things that make such an abrupt change of opinion and statement and action happen. Number one is when they clean house. I've seen this happen a couple of times. So clean house uh, with everybody that disagree or goes against the uh, ruin regime's agenda and replacement of people who will give them the opinion they want. Now that didn't happen in this case. So that had to be the other reason. Straight up political pressure. Now we all know the Abe regime is very pro-nuclear so anything that goes against uh, Abe's agenda he's gonna come down hard. He's so, uh, done this many times. So he can't get rid of the NRA because they've already cleaned house once after Fukushima. So he does it again. Well, it'll make it look too obvious. They're applying, applying political pressure. The second reason why there would be a lot of pressure to change their opinion would be there's a lot of money from the government that had already been dumped into this. Millions and millions of uh, equivalent of U.S. dollars have been dumped into this project. And a lot of it had already been built. It's just going through the go-ahead now. So I think that's probably what's going on here. It's a, it's a sudden abrupt change so quickly of um, action and opinion. Some, probably some serious political pressure was going on. Now what that political pressure might have been in detail, well, who knows. You know, the Japanese government's not known for being transparent about these things. But I want to hear what you think about this abrupt change. First I say no. You know, we, we extremely doubt that you can uh, prevent the groundwater from going too low to allow the already contaminated water to go into the soil? What really happened to this? What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment box below. First time you see me, please subscribe. Until next time, it's me, John Doe. Checking out.